Good afternoon and welcome to the Seabreeze Church of Christ. Hope you've been having a great day. Do you ever question God? Well, when we question God in seasons of suffering and draw close to God for comfort and the answers that we need. Turn your Bibles to Job chapter 13 and look at verses 15 through 25. Job chapter 13, verses 15 through 25. And it says, though he slay me, I will hope in him. Nevertheless, I will argue my ways before him. This also will be my salvation for a godless man may not come before his presence. Listen carefully to my speech and let my declaration fill your ears. Behold now, I have prepared my case and I know that I will be vindicated. Who will contend with me? For then I would be silent and die. Only two things do not do to me then I will not hide from your face. Remove your hand from me and not let the dread of, your, of you terrify me. Then call and I will answer or let me speak, then reply to me. How many are my iniquities and sins? Make known to me my rebellion and my sin. Why do you hide your face and could consider me your enemy? Will you cause a driven leaf to tremble or will you pursue the day chaff? The dry chaff, I'm sorry. It is possible to draw closer to the Father through our doubts. The life of Job suggests an answer Verse 15 of today's passage is key to understanding his mindset. Though he slay me, though he slay me, I will hope in him. No matter what happened, no matter what happened, Job was determined to keep hoping and trusting in God, even while, even while, and even though he was suffering and he was struggling to understand why he suffered. Both hoping and questioning can be expressions of faith, knowing that the Lord was the only one who could answer him. Job wanted an opportunity to pose his questions. Then in chapters 38 through 41, the Lord responded, leaving his servant both humble and astonished. Job 42 verses 2 through 6, I know that you can do all things and that no purpose of yours can be thwarted. Who is this that will hide counsel without knowledge? Therefore I have declared that which I did not understand, things too wonderful for me, which I did not know. Hear now, and I will speak. I will ask you, and you instruct me. I have heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eye sees you. Therefore, I retract, and I repent in dust and ashes. Brethren, in seasons of suffering, we too, we also may have questions for God such as, what have I done wrong? Why are you treating me this way? And don't you see my brokenness? When that happens, we can be comforted to know that we're in good company. In fact, Jesus himself faithfully inquired of God from the cross. Our Savior asked, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Matthew 27, verse 46, about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama, sabachthani, 
That is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And how will God respond when we have earnest questions for him? Brethren, he'll keep us close in his infinite awe, inspiring love and mercy and carry us through. He will keep us close and in his infinite awe, inspiring love and mercy, he will carry us through. It's not wrong to question God, but we need to listen to his answers. We need to pay attention to him, but isn't it great? Isn't it wonderful that we have a loving God who we can ask questions to? It's not just Job that asks questions. Think back about Moses standing in front of the burning bush. He asked questions of God. We don't need to be afraid of God, but we need to be humble. and We need to be willing to accept his answers and show our love and our praise and our honor and glory to him for the great wondrous thing that he's done for us to die for our sins, a debt that we could not pay. Brethren, just something to think about the rest of the week. I hope and pray that you have a great rest of the week. We thank you so much for tuning in to our messages and helping us spread the gospel, and I hope that you're sharing these with your friends and loved ones. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate it so very much. And if you're where you can, come and visit with us at the Seabree Church of Christ, our worship service. Uh, our Bible study begins at 9.30 a.m. Our worship service starts at 10.30 a.m. We would love to have you come visit with us. You'd be our honored guest. So if you can, please come. And if there's anything that you think that the Seabree Church of Christ can do for you, please, please give us a call. And if we possibly can, we would like to do that. And you can reach us at 270-823-2335. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope and pray that you have a great rest of the week. May God bless you.